Hi guys, this is Val from Core Conservation, and here is a video about how to apply the Rinzafo MGN Roman waterproofing lime plaster correctly. The plaster is very easy to work with and apply, however, there are a few important points plasterers, lime enthusiasts, and do it yourselfers need to be aware of to achieve best results or to avoid application mistakes. Please watch this short video if you haven't applied the plaster before. Mixing. Mix the plaster with clean tap water to the right consistency. Very important, do not add anything else to the mix than just clean tap water. No additives, no extra sand, cement, gypsum or sea water, nothing, just clean tap water. Do not overwork it. The plaster can be applied by hand or by plastering machine I'm going to cover the machine application in a moment. Preparation of the wall surface. Wall surfaces must be clean, free of oils and loose, frail materials. All plaster coats and paint should be also stripped as much as possible, as it is important that the Rinzafo MGM plaster can firmly bond to the underlying stone or brick. If the surface is very salty, brush off or wash off the salts then wet the surface abundantly before application, which brings us to the next point. Wet the wall surface before application. Wet the wall surface before application. Always wet the surface abundantly before the application of any lime plaster. A thorough wetting of the surface, both initially and in between subsequent lime coats, is important to prevent the too fast drying of the plaster. If a lime plaster is applied on a dry wall surface, the dry wall absorbs the moisture out of the plaster, make it dry much faster than it should. The good setting and long-term performance of lime plasters depends on a number of slow chemical reactions that take place while the plaster is in a damp or semi-damp phase. A too fast drying of the plaster kills these reactions making lime plasters fail or underperform, so wetting the surface thoroughly before any application is important. Leave no holes during application. Application of the plaster by hand is easy. You just throw the plaster on the wall. It sticks well. About 10 mm can be applied in one coat. It is very important not to leave any holes or gaps in the material during application. Why is that? Because the Rinzafo MGM plaster acts as a liquid water and salt filter, protecting all subsequent plaster coats from excess humidity and salts, it is important to form a continuous layer with no holes. Close off the pores during application. After the plaster is thrown on the wall, Close off the pores by leveling the material with a trowel, making the surface look smooth and uniform. But do not overthin the material during application. During leveling, pay attention not to apply too much pressure and overthin the material. Have enough material on the wall to maintain a 5 to 10 mm thick coat. One way to achieve this is by throwing a lot of material onto the wall, then leveling it with a white trowel, pulling the material upwards, creating a uniform coverage. This works well for most brick walls. For non-uniform stone walls, just use a trowel and do it by hand. Leveling also compacts the material nicely, closing off any surface pores and gaps. Do not apply too much pressure to overthin the material during application. Here are some examples of both good and bad, which we mean too thin, coverage. Near the bottom of the wall, we have good thickness, about 8 to 10 mm or so, while near the top, maybe about 3 mm, which is insufficient thickness. Fiberglass mesh. If more than one coat is applied, typically in underground areas, embedding a fiberglass mesh into the last coat is considered good practice, as it gives extra flexibility to the plaster coat. Wait with the application of the second coat 
until the first coat dries completely, typically in 1-2 days depending on ambient conditions. Give it a light key. When done, give the plaster a light key using a wet brush to facilitate the bonding of the next plaster layer. Don't use the edge of the trowel to cut into the material to give it a key, as this would create weak points along the cuts. Just use a wet brush, this way the plaster coat stays intact. Watch for dark spots. Now, here's how the dry Rinzafu MGM plaster surface looks like after a day or two. It has a relatively uniform brown slash purple color with no dark spots. If on the dry surface you see random dark spots, that denotes insufficient thickness in those areas. The fix is easy. Just patch up these spots by adding extra material. The next plaster coat, even if a different one, can be applied straight away. No need to wait for the patch up to dry. During the drying phase of the plaster, one can experience condensation. This primarily occurs in basements or underground areas, or if the plaster is applied during winter time. Due to low temperatures, or insufficient heating and ventilation, the excess moisture that leaves the drying plaster can't escape and condenses on the coldest wall surfaces, these typically being the colder evaporating underground wall sections. This doesn't mean that these dark plaster areas are not drying, or they quote-unquote leak water through, as upon closer inspection, these dark areas, similar to the light dry areas, are also hard to touch, so the plaster is curing and drying. The dark areas are dark because of condensation. Turning on heating and some dehumidifiers in the winter time will help to clear the condensation, making these surfaces dry. In case there is significant sideways water pressure or salinity present, one can also add an extra plaster coat to further reinforce these areas. This will also help such areas to dry out quicker. Machine application. Plastering machine application is not only possible, but for larger areas of project is recommended, as it is a major time saver. Just adjust the consistency of the mix, more fluid for floors and more solid for walls, and off you go. Machine application is much faster than applying the plaster by hand, so it also has a cost-saving aspect too. Once the plaster has been sprayed onto the wall, use a trowel to go through the material and level it throughout. Make sure there are no holes or missed spots left behind, especially when applying the plaster on uneven stone or cob walls. Detailing your ground or floor level. If you have a solid, typically concrete floor, it is recommended that the MGN plaster is applied all the way down, overlapping a bit the floor area. This prevents subsequent plaster layers from accidentally touching the floor, absorbing moisture and salts, then being damaged by them over time. The main plaster coat on top of the Rinzaffo base is usually not applied all the way down to the ground, but a gap of 1 to 2 inches is left from the ground, this gap being hidden by the skirting board. Alternatively, especially in basements, one can fill this gap with extra Rinzaffo MGM plaster in order to create a more robust seal with no gaps, building up a waterproof plinth along the base of the wall. In underground areas, such as basements and cellars, it is important to reinforce the wall, floor edges and corners with extra material, creating a strong seal that can withstand high water table and even flood scenarios. The Rinzafo MGM plaster keeping the basement area dry until water levels return to normal. Cutouts for wires, pipes and electrical sockets. Especially in underground areas, cutouts for cables or electrical sockets can be weak points, compromising the integrity of waterproofing, 
leading to potential water ingress problems along these points. Applying the Rinzaffo MGM base coat first before the rewiring creates a breathable waterproof seal throughout, keeping liquid water away. If the rewiring has already occurred, the Rinzaffo MGM plaster can still be used to seal these problematic areas. Using wall anchors, for example hanging kitchen furniture onto the walls. They can be used without a problem, but the area around each anchor must be sealed with the Rinzaffo MGM plaster. This prevents the transfer of water and or salts into the main decorative lime plaster layer, keeping everything nice and dry. I think this should cover most of the application scenarios one typically comes across, quickly summarizing the most important points. Mix the material with clean tap water only, don't add anything else to the mix. Wet the surface abundantly before application. Do not leave any holes or gaps. Work the material into the surface without over thinning it. Give it a light key at the end without cutting into the material. The typical required thicknesses are not less than 10 mm for freestanding walls above ground level and not less than 20 mm for underground walls. After the plaster has dried, dark spots on the surface indicate insufficient thickness. Patch it up with more material. If applicable, Reinforce the wall floor joints to prevent leaks. If applied correctly, the Rinzaffo MGM plaster will perform extremely well for many decades, even under very demanding conditions, and can outlast modern cement plasters or tanking slurries. Once dried, the material becomes waterproof and it can keep liquid water out while allowing the wall fabric to breathe. Finally, let's look at a demonstration in the manufacturer's lab on how well the Rinzaffo MGM plaster performs. Here we have this O-shaped wall section lined internally with the Rinzaffo MGM plaster acting as a container capable of holding seawater inside the wall, keeping liquid water and salts away from the masonry while maintaining its integrity even under heavy soil crystallization. Other plaster brands, some of these also tested in the lab, fail over time, letting the water and salt through, resulting in a discoloration of the plastering. Here is another demonstration, a similar test wall structure built years ago placed outdoors, being tested in a real-world environment, subject to the ongoing weather. As you can see, the wall structure is simulating Venice-like conditions, standing in seawater. Here is also water inside the wall, the Rinzaffo plaster holding the water inside the wall as a container. Now, we pour water inside the wall structure, saturating it. This water from the wall can only escape by evaporation, the wall structure being lined with the waterproofing Rinzaffo MGM base coat, both internally and externally. Coming back half an hour later, we can see that the plaster surface is dry overall, except in areas where the waterproofing coat is damaged. Here we have a water leak. The water leaking out from the wall. I have asked specifically about these cracks and they told me these have been developed during transportation when the wall structure has been moved around. Coming back next day to inspect the same wall again, the plaster surface is completely dry despite a heavy rain that occurred overnight. The Rinzaffo MGM plaster being breathable it evaporates out its moisture content, keeping itself dry. Due to ongoing evaporation, the water level inside the brick is now lower than yesterday when the wall has been filled to the brim. Hope you found this interesting and useful. I leave some links to the plaster in the description. 
so you can read more about it and its application. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to get in touch. We are always happy to help you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.